I'm so honored to be here to share my story with you guys and also something maybe help you guys with your products, with your startups, with your dream. I don't know. So I was invited to here to talk about growth. So any of you guys are working on a product right now or going to do a product or doing something soon, I need three people to tell me what you are working on. A um, platform for pilots to trade their trips automatically, which lets them more money and days off for wow. three years. Wow, so who are your users? Uh, my users are all commercial pilots and flight attendants. Wow, cool. Sounds like really cool, expensive. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, cool. So users will be like developers? No, users have kids from 7 to 12. Oh, nice. Cool, cool. Uh, still there, over there. I have a wardrobe rental service that I um, rent out wardrobe for on network projects. So uh -huh. it targets a lot of students who love certain bloggers and YouTube and all that. Oh, nice. So relevant. That's cool. That's really cool. Okay, we will, tell, we will talk about more. Well, if you guys didn't tell me what you are doing during the time, I will ask questions. So, seems like you guys are all working on product right now. A lot of you guys are going to work on product. So, you have a product. Is this hard to build? Is it hard or easy for you guys right now? Easy? Hard? Hard, hard right? Yeah. It's hard. But however, it's getting harder later when you are going to say, oh, this is my baby right now. It's the time for me to share with the world, tell everybody, hey, come over to try it out, and you guys will love it. But how, so you, how, how can you get your baby out there to in front of the world, in front of everybody, say, this is amazing. I'm solving the problem. I'm helping you out, helping the kids, helping the pilots, and also helping those wardrobe um, bloggers. Is that your users, bloggers? And yeah, wardrobe rental. OK, those rental, rental people. So. Actually, there's, oh, okay. there's so many ways you can get it out. Some of you guys, can you tell me some way? One person say one way. Viral. viral. <laughs> <laughs> Darn. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, viral. Okay, what is viral? Um, it's like an <laughs> incredibly fast rate of growth that's out of the ordinary. How? How I'm, can you do I'm, it? Online. Okay. I like social media. Okay, okay, cool. Next one. Somebody can tell me what's the, something you can think about. Sharing. Sharing. Sharing? Okay, cool. Next. Uh, referral. Referral. Okay, cool. Referral, sharing. Gamification. What's that? Gamification. Communication. Communication? Gamification. Oh, gamification. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah. What else? <laughs> press, maybe? Yeah, press. Oh, go yeah, there you go. Yes, and what's the next? Uh, advertising. Advertising. PR. 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 What is PR? Press. Is that right? So SEO. What is SEO? Awesome. You guys are all good. What is this? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's like are you guys making an app? <laughs> making an app? Oh, no. yeah. App store. You started. You started. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. What else? Okay, somebody said uh, advertising. What type of advertising will you guys can think about? Tell me. Anything you guys can think about. Yeah, what else? Google. Google, okay. Instagram, okay. What else? Billboards. Billboards, cool. What else? I heard some voice. Well, it's paying, paying for users, like actually paying for users. Yeah, paying for like ad network. Yeah. Uh, sales team? Just like, probably you need a sales team for your. Google ads. Google ads, yeah. Like app ads. And the last one. Spamming. <laughs> yeah, spamming. The yeah. have you guys done any spamming? I got blocked on Facebook. <laughs> 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 Who else? Yeah. I don't even know why. I wasn't even So there's so many ways. There's so many ways. Just be careful. Don't spam your people. Don't do it. I've done a bunch before and doesn't. sometimes it kind of really 
working a little bit, but however, really get you, get your toe later. Like I was banned from on Twitter. I was like tag everyone. They were like, you don't spam me. Or like I send people emails. They're like, okay, are you using a mail ma uh, merge, mail merger or something? Mail merge. Be careful, really be careful. And I get, I got kicked out from some uh, online chat room for <laughs> for just oh you should try my service. But you know it's like just be really careful on that. So something that viral is cool content content. So who is creating the content? Other than users, yourself. Are users who create the content? What, what's that? Are users content? Users, yeah. Have your users create the content for you and to be your speed person. Um, email. Hmm. Email. Have you guys done any sort of email campaign? How does that work? Uh, the rates, I mean, when they do open it, if you make it engaging enough, they do come in. But, yeah, I mean, you really got to play with the, the title and everything and do like a b testing um, but yeah i mean it's been okay yeah what's your what's your product well right now it's a call answering service for entrepreneurs and small businesses so i can give you a business number so that you don't use your personal phone number oh. and then every call that comes in gets answered professionally by a secretary personalized to your business okay cool yeah. and where did you get your email list Oh, this was for another product I was building a few months ago. Um, that was for something else in the, in the telecommunication space. Yeah, and what type, what type of email uh, service you are using for your Mailchimp. email? Mailchimp. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, there's also like SendGrade or other services. I've done a lot of email, email campaigns. Sometimes, right now, I just feel like more and more email go to the spam folder. And or Gmail just like list you under social media or some like there's some different categories so less people open their email now <laughs> feels like really cost money too like when you're using those services um pr anybody done pr before press are you guys going to think about it not paid for pr PR, pr is not paid for that you've done it how does that work well what, what we did for what i did Yeah. The bloggers that exist if we were in Boston, so like anyone that was influential in Boston to totally. like come take a look at our product, to come take a look at what we were working on. Yeah. And it kind of created a buzz so much that like, it had like the bigger companies to be more than we were. Uh -huh. We actually were just in prototyping stage. Huh. Did you guys get featured somewhere? Um, yeah, like a few of them. Oh, nice. Nice. So what's that schedule is look like? So when you guys are having something, you are thinking about, okay, I'm going to hit the PR, like end of the month, maybe next Thursday, or some like t sometimes like three months later, what's the process that should be like, or would be like? Yeah, w when did you guys start it? And when that when the stuff launch and people pick you guys up? Um, we, well, we started at the beginning of the program for Yeah. Um, started, I think it was like end of June. We started okay. actively like seeking people uh, to like come and take a look at what we were doing. Sure. And then on, we had two different demo days. So like, on the first two demo days, we invited like a bunch of tech bloggers mm -hmm. and like uh, people who read about healthcare to yeah. come and check out like all the companies. But like the purpose was to like come check ours out. Totally. So um, it was like they, even if they were going to write about the entire event, that we make sure like they wrote that. And it was cool because um, with it after uh, demo day, like we had like a few hundred more, like, not much, but like a few hundred more views of our video online explaining what our product did. That's cool. Yeah, that's cool. So when we were doing the PR for um, Boost Insider, we really want cool um, PR can pick us up. Uh, so actually, we we got featured by TechCrunch. Uh, but something here about our PR. But however, we sent out like hundreds of emails to those um, media, like Wall Street Journal, and people talk with me on the phone like, okay, if I'm going to feature you, will that be an exclusive deal? So a lot of times maybe when you guys can pick up some big guys in your industry and share with those guys first, say, hey, I'm doing an exclusive deal with you. 
So that's more likely they will, okay, this is cool. I will talk about this one before anybody else. So if it's a big one to talk about you, then the smaller ones all pick it up. Um, if nobody pick you up, just send a bunch of emails out there. So that's my trick. <laughs>